Will, your first time walking out here at the Stoke High Rats. What do you think of it? Yeah, it's nice. Um, I'm sure that stand will going to make a massive difference in it. So, um, yeah, I'm sure it'll be good. I'm looking forward to seeing it full. Uh, that'll be good the first time that happens, yeah. Be some noise we saw last time, many times the season, especially for Wood and won the league. How much are you looking forward to just getting a taste of that atmosphere? Yeah, I've seen bits and bats of the atmosphere and seen snippets of it, um, but I'm looking forward to feeling what it's actually really like, definitely. Yeah. And you mentioned the plans with the cop there as well, another sign that the club is progressing in the right direction. Yeah, massively. Um, I think that obviously makes a massive difference. Um, so it is, like you say, another step forward and somewhere where the club wants to be. It's an, another statement of intent almost. You spoke earlier about some of the players that you've played against, played with, also at the football clubs, would be nice linking back up with some of them out there as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, that's something I'll, I'll be looking forward to, to playing with lads who I've played with and then sort of um, getting to know the rest of the lads and seeing what they're about as well, really. I'm looking forward to it. And there's no better icebreaker than spending two weeks on a tour in the USA with the Mister. Yeah, I've not done that before um, as an icebreaker, to be honest, so um, that's not a bad one. Like you say, I'm looking forward to that. That'll be good to get going, yeah. And today you met the manager, Phil Parkinson. What's it been like, the conversations from him and what you're thinking of working with him as well? Yeah, really clear. I know what's expected of me coming in and I know the expectations of the club. Um, the club almost sells itself, as I'm sure you can imagine. Um, and the sort of the journey it's on now and the ambition of the club. So it's... I'm looking forward to getting going, the conversation has been positive and now I'm just looking forward to getting to work really. And less than a month until the football league season starts, you must be really excited to get going now. Yeah, I can't wait to get going and get playing and getting his teeth into the fixtures, yeah. In terms of the rehab then, for being a footballer, yeah, yeah. what kind of things benefit you? Um, I think it becomes very individual, I think. Um, I've got to a stage now where I know what what works for me. Um, and off the back of injuries, you can pick stuff up and that you might carry on throughout your career. And sort of habits almost, it's habit forming really. Um, so yeah, there's lots of little bits and bats really. Is it almost one of them where you learn from experiences what works for your body and what doesn't and how you can take that to probably yeah, definitely, through? 100%. What kind of things have you found within that? Um, to tone it down at times. Uh, I think I'm probably guilty of being, doing a bit too much, being a bit too eager and keen at times when I was younger. Um, and that might have impacted me negatively on the pitch. So finding a happy medium really, yeah. And in terms of that then, how have you managed to use that to your benefit? Uh, to listen to my body more and if I feel like I'm planning on doing a certain session but I feel like I, my body's saying maybe not listen to it probably is it a hard adjustment to make where you have that sort of competitive edge where you want to go through yeah. and complete it 100% but then that is what it is yeah definitely yeah.